Alright, we're going to do a uh, strategy session here on open face Chinese poker. So uh, here I am playing the 8 4 clubs and I'm breaking up the heart flush because I want to try to play a kings in the front. Now this is a risky move that I'm taking right now, but uh, considering that it's only the second deal, I figure that... Uh, that I have a lot of chances. Now, uh, the reason I played the five in the middle is because I want to maximize my straight chance as well as the two pair or trip chance. So here I'm going to play, uh, I'm going to play this club in the back and hopefully snatch a miracle. Nope. Nope. Yeah, fouled either way. Okay, here we got sevens with a ten, three in the middle, king in the front. You always want to play a high kicker in the back. This way you can make lower two pair. There we go again. There we go again. Another risky move. And I have to I have no choice. This is just the way the game is played. See, sometimes it comes in, sometimes it does nine I need a nine or a running small pair. Uh, let me catch a nine. Okay, now in this situation, since I have ten full, I'm going to play the queen in the front. This way, I can make a full house in the middle, possibly. See? If I had played the queen in the middle, I would not have been able to play a pair of jacks in the middle. That worked out for me. But that's the correct way, because, um, you know, it's not a very high likelihood that you're going to get a three, nine, or nine, nine. But uh, in case you do, you want to be able to play that, and that's a big bonus to have a full house in the middle. So now I'm in fantasy land because I had a pair of kings in the front. So fantasy land, usually you win. Usually you get big hands. Let's see what I got. Uh, no flush. By the way, it's 14 cards, is what you get. You can only play 5, 10, 13 out of 14, right? Yeah. So you get 14 cards. There's no flush there. There's no full house possibility. So we're going to have to content ourselves with two straights. Um, yeah. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 jack, queen, king, ace. That's what we're going to do. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And, ooh, I have kings in the front. Cool. That's good. Okay, we have two straights and kings in the front. Not bad. Wow. We were almost dead. Now we've got 724 and we're actually leading. Alright. Deja vu. I think I've seen this one before. Sevens with a ten. And a king in the front. <laughs> and here comes the king. Okay, no king this time. All right, but this is not bad. Okay, so seven's in the back, six is in the middle. So, um, ooh. So putting a six here is just too risky. Um, there's only two sevens in the deck, other than running running tens. So I'm just not going to play it. Just too risky. Now this I will play. Sixes and fives I will play. Now I need a queen, ten, or a seven in the back, and ace or a king in the front. We don't get it. So this is going to foul. Alright, here we got a flush going. And I'm going to play seven in the middle, king in the front. Yeah, I don't like it, but six, seven, eight. I got a straight going. It's risky, but uh, just gotta do what you gotta do. Now I need a four or a nine. Four or a nine. There's actually one nine and a four outs. So I got six outs. Six outs. There it is. 
There it is. There's my nine. Two nines actually came. Yeah, you gotta play risky, because that's the only way you win in this game. So now, you see now, not only am I leading almost double the points of my opponent, but I'm also in fantasy land. So if I get a strong hand, and he whiffs, then uh, I will win the game. Even though we're at, we're still at, at a very low stage in this tournament. Now, this is how powerful a fantasy land hand is. Alright, let's see what I got. Uh, no flush. And we do have four fives, so we're definitely going to play the four fives. There's no straight either, so that's the only play. There's the four fives, and then sevens and eights. Sevens and eights in the middle, and then uh, tens in the front. Only one two hundred? Hmm. Oh, he had a full house. And he beat me in the middle, actually, with tens and sevens. However, I get another fantasy land because of the quads. All right, this time again, no flush. And this time we do have a full house and we don't have a straight, so we definitely have to play the full house. Deuces full of fours is going to be our full house, and we have queens in the front. So this is also a big hand, and this should knock my opponent out. Ah, it didn't. <laughs> he has queens in the front too, but he's got 41 points left, so he's kind of limping at this point. So yeah okay so here i'm gonna play the seven in the middle because seven is just such a low kicker that it's just not worth doing it you see now i need an ace or a king to have a strong hand so here i'm not gonna play the ten in the front because it's unlikely to fill up in the back and in the middle it's a lot more likely to catch an ace or a king ah oh, look i would have filled up <laughs> wow six and a deuce yeah, go figure i think that's the correct play in my opinion even though in this case it would have worked out very well for me. Full house in the middle is uh, extremely strong. A lot of bonus points. But um, there's six outs for an ace or a king, and I'm already qualifying. I don't need any further improvement. I already have uh, trips in the back and two pair in the middle. Whereas, in order to be able to play a deuce in the middle, I need to improve the back. So I need to catch both a six or a jack and a deuce or a seven. So, and a 7 will only work if I catch a 6. <laughs> so, that's not, it's not so easy to be able to play the deuce in the middle. Anyway, um, I do win. So, uh, thank you for watching. And, bye-bye.